Do I look tired? I feel tired. Well, the bin's done. We're gonna go ahead and secure it down to the concrete. This should last us a good maybe hour and a half to fill. All right, all jokes aside, they showed up today to put, start putting the bin up. It was kind of a late start because we were all uncertain if we were going to be able to put the bin in today because the weather forecast is really turned on its head. They are saying severe storms, potential flash flooding for tonight. Uh, 80 to 90 percent chance of rain tomorrow, but doesn't specify when. Seems how they said the exact same thing for today. So we're not entirely certain if we can go ahead and at least finish putting this bin up tomorrow. Um, it took today from 10 until 4 to, to, yeah, to do this much. Um, anybody that's wondering why we stopped at 4 and started at 10, well, we started at 10 because I just told you. Uh, we stopped at 4 because the individuals that are putting this bin up, that we are, you know, we're helping put the bin up. Seems like we're helping just as much. Um, they are dairy farmers and they had to stop in time that they get back home and do chores i myself i don't miss those days um if my camera can pick it up this is what she looks like on the inside we got hydraulic jacks along the outside not the old school crank ratchet crank ones but our winch setups um, the hydraulic jack is in the center uh, the electrician was here today, last minute. You can see he's got some of the wiring done. Uh, light too, I guess. Uh, he's got power up to the side of the bin for the uh, stir stirator. I keep wanting to say stirator. It's a spreader. It's a grain spreader. Um, this can potentially go one of two ways this fall. For anybody that's asking, I just Dad just dropped me off here. Um, this bin is going to get used one of two ways. Number one, we fill it full of corn and we dry it down with just the blower with running heat on it. We're not going to stir it. Number two, maybe this corn this fall comes in a little wet, doesn't want to dry down out in the field any too soon, um, and we get a little, you know, get on a little bit of a time crunch as far as getting the crop out. And we end up going the route of filling this bin to the filling this bin up to the stirator, like we typically do. Go through, dry it down, and then transfer it. I know it's going to be timely, but uh, transfer it into this bin and use this bin as purely a storage bin, and then just run air on it as needed. Um, ideally, we'd like to go the second route. Probably go the route of filling this bin first. By the time we do soybeans, whatever soybeans, we end up doing first um ideally it'd be nice to do all of our soybeans and then worry about corn but mother nature and crops and all that really don't like to to do things the way we'd like to so um ideally i could see filling this bin first and then as we get later into the season and hopefully we can find some drier corn uh, it was 17 percent the last corn we harvested last year i'm not really thinking we'll go that long before we fill this bin um, but you know stranger things have happened ideally we're not going to sell any more corn than we absolutely have to i did forward contract a large amount of the corn that we do have to sell out of the field i mean i've sold three quarters of my corn that i have to sell well i have to sell all of mine um three quarters of mine is sold i don't know where ryan currently stands um, dad, I've been selling, marking dad's corn for him, and a large chunk of his corn that he has to sell, that we were planning on selling regardless, is already, already sold. So this stuff is to basically capture a better price later on next year. At least that's the plan. So tomorrow, this is the slowest part as far as putting these bins up. Um, that's what the guys were telling me today anyway. Um, different crew than built that bin. Uh, built it a little bit differently. 
but different crews, different operations, I really could care less as long as the job gets done. So I think it's enough of me echoing in there, and uh, kind of a nifty little door design here, as far as the hinge goes. But um, we got five more rings to put on, and they're all different thicknesses. They're thinner at the top. They're the thickest at the bottom. That'll be, that's because there's more weight on the bottom of the bin. So tomorrow, the goals for tomorrow starting right, right away when they get here um, is to put all the rings on, get it up in the air, and then get it secured down onto the concrete. I was told that's going to be a very, very long day, but it will get done. And then the floor. Um, the air floor and all that stuff. I like, oh, I just like walking around this bin, I guess. Oh, we got company. Um, but they're saying it's going to take about a day or a good part of a day to get the floor in. So if you guys want to... Well, we got a little stud here that wants to be on the internet. <laughs> Maybe not. He's shaking his head no. But, um... Yeah, hopefully this is goes fairly smooth. There's a lot of small stuff that needs to get done when once we get the floor in and everything. Um, I do know Ryan has to, uh, or has probably posted a video online already, but this is just my take on the bin. Seems how there's a lot to go down. So potentially you're looking at least three, two more videos after this one. Hopefully the next one is the bin that is, is up and ready to be ready for the floor and this is the last big job that we have to do until harvest i mean everything else is significant but you know manageable so the last big hurdle for the year all other than racing rain but they are saying after today they're saying a chance of storms tonight they're saying a chance for storms tomorrow or heavy rain however you want to look at it which heavy rain is a Pretty might as well say a storm for me, um, to me. But um, after tomorrow, uh, the extended forecast says mostly sunny, mostly cloudy, partly cloudy. So hopefully we're out of this rain spell, a seven to ten day window to get hay made. Hopefully by this weekend you guys will see us cutting the last of our hay, which <laughs> has kind of gotten out of hand. And we'll get that made up and hauled in. So, I'm going to call the night. Seems how I'm really tired. So, until next time, tomorrow night, till the next video. Take care. Take it easy. Keep in touch. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.